dear friends welcome back to our uh, next topic which is relationship between zeros of quadratic polynomial part second in this video we will find out product of two zeros that is alpha into beta in last video we found out the sum of two zeros in this part that was called first in this part we will find product of two zeros for this purpose Consider a quadratic polynomial p of x equal to ax square follows bx follows c is a quadratic polynomial in which a, b, and, <coughs> and c are real numbers. Consider two uh, zeros of this quadratic polynomial that is alpha and beta. Let us assume uh, alpha and beta the two zeros of this quadratic polynomial. So, put x equal to alpha and x equal to beta in this expression. When we replace x as alpha, p of alpha must be equal to 0. And p of beta must be equal to 0. As discussed by the definition of zeros of quadratic polynomial, P of alpha must be equal to 0 because the zeros of polynomial make the polynomial equal to 0. So, this is P of alpha and we replace x as alpha that is therefore A alpha square replace x as alpha follows B alpha follows C must be equal to 0. This equation first remember as first and B beta that is replace x as beta a into beta square plus b into beta plus c must be equal to zero number as equation second. Now to obtain the relationship between the zeros of polynomial, let's multiply equation first by alpha uh, sorry beta and the second by alpha. Multiply equation first by beta and second by alpha so the equation first now becomes when we multiply it throw out both sides by beta equation first become a into alpha square into beta plus b into alpha into beta plus c into alpha equal to 0 into alpha is always equal to 0 and the equation second becomes a as we multiply second by alpha a into beta square into alpha plus b into alpha into beta plus c into beta and 0 into beta is equal to 0. Let's name this equation by equation third and name this fourth this equation third this equation fourth so subtract for this purpose we need to subtract equation fourth from third let us subtract equation fourth from third this the sign of the equation fourth will change this follows this will become minus 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 all terms will become minus because there is positive sign so this is equal to a alpha square into beta minus a beta square into alpha plus b alpha beta minus b alpha beta plus plus c alpha minus c beta is equal to 0 so this is a into alpha square into beta minus a into beta square into alpha let's take a into alpha into beta as common 
a into alpha into beta a into alpha into beta is common factor in both so here alpha minus beta or present here because we took a into alpha into beta as common factor from both these terms plus we send this will go because b alpha b into other as alpha into beta minus b into alpha into beta these have the signs opposite opposite signs one plus c into alpha minus c into beta let's take c as common factor from these two terms alpha minus beta is equal to zero taking alpha minus beta common from both these terms this and this alpha minus beta is taken as common factor here a into alpha into beta is present of minus c is equal to zero so which further implies a into alpha into beta minus c is equal to zero divided by alpha minus beta that therefore a into alpha into beta minus c is equal to zero zero divided by alpha minus beta by transposing alpha minus beta towards right hand side this is zero divided by alpha minus beta that is equal to zero or we transpose c towards right hand side alpha into beta a into alpha into beta is equal to c which further implies that a into alpha into beta equal to c which further implies that alpha into beta is equal to c divided by a so by concluding our topic product of zeros is always equal to c divided by a or product of zeros of a quadratic polynomial which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is always equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square as we have showed here constant term is c and coefficient of x square is a That's subscribe our youtube channel point to maths and press the bell icon to receive notifications